Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a quick unboxing and a review of this awesome looking NOCO Genius 2. This is a 2 amp battery charger and maintainer. And as you can see on the bottom of the box, it does charge 6 volt batteries as well as 12 volt batteries because my, me myself, I do have both batteries. I have 6 volt and 12 volts. So with that being said, um, as you guys know, NOCO is one of the best uh, battery chargers that are out there. They are, they've been around for, they've been in the charging, charging game for a while now. They have a very good reputation and this is probably one of the best chargers that you can buy to charge and maintain your battery, whether you use it often or not. So I'm going to go ahead and start the video with the, with a quick unboxing. You basically, what you get in the box, let me go ahead and show you the inside and in here inside the box you get a small manual to be honest it's easy to understand and it's well explained i just wish that noco had made the manual a little bit bigger for us people that don't have the perfect um eyesight if you would so i just wish that the writing and the text was a little bit bigger but it does get straight to the point and it does explain what you need to do and how to charge your battery safely uh, which is very important because I do take safety very seriously. So that's the manual in the box. And then you also get this mounting bracket. So, so let me go ahead and take it out of the bag. So that way, because this this awesome 2 amp charger. So what you get here is <clears throat> you get a battery compartment uh, holder, if you would, or a strap. Um, this is the uh, charging. This is, excuse me, this is the charger holder. And it comes with like a velcro velcro strap it seems to be sturdy enough actually have that upside down so you can actually mount this charger permanently in or inside your engine compartment and or you, or you can also mount it anywhere for example in your garage so no, they do provide you the the two screws and this charger to be honest it's, it's very easy to install in here and you just put the velcro on top of it to place it so it doesn't go anywhere and you, and you can leave the charger mounted in your uh, engine compartment yearly round so whether it's cold or hot or no matter what the temperature is this because this charger is um, it is uh, rated for waterproof and dust proof and it does have a rating of ip65 which is great so i would not think about i would not think twice about uh, plugging this in and also mounting it permanently inside my engine compartment if you were to charge your tractor or your car or your van or your RV or whatever you're trying to charge, as long as it's a 12 volt, 12 volt or a 6 volt battery. So now let's go ahead and look at the unit itself. It does come with a long. Okay, so this power cable to my left, the black cable is approximately 72 inches long, which is a decent length, to be honest, for a permanent charger or a mobile char or portable charger, I should say. And then on the other side, you have a 56 inch long charging cable on this side which is the black and white of course it's negative and positive that's why it's got two different colors and what's really nice about this charger is that it comes with a detachable uh, interchangeable uh, charging clamps or, or charging cable I should say which you can easily uh, press this you just basically press this red button and it's going to go ahead and detach from it just in case you want to attach a different type of uh, cable for other purposes, which they do have other accessories on the NOCO's website. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach this right now. And, and then, of course, here is your negative and positive. And notice that I do like one thing about NOCO, which I've noticed about other chargers that like other, especially generic and aftermarket chargers, they do not have a built in fuse. This charger does come with a with a 4 amp fuse that's built in that's also interchangeable if I can open this. So as you can see that right there, oops, as you can see that this is a 4, uh, it has a built in fuse which is easily interchangeable just in case that gets damaged. You notice something, anything funny about the, about the charger itself if it's not working properly or not power on. So and then we get to the charging clamps. As you can see I have a negative to my left and a positive to my right. And this is if you're trying to charge your battery, whether it's a car battery or a scooter battery or your RV battery, any any 6 volt or 12 volt battery that you're trying to charge temporarily, whether the battery is dead or just low on, low on voltage. But what's really nice about this is that, I don't think a lot of people know this, if you want a more permanent installation, 
you can actually see the eyelets that are actually connected to the battery terminal to the clamp right here all you have to do is unscrew this with a small allen wrench and you actually have a built-in original battery eyelet uh, the eyelet, the original eyelet that came from noco so the, the, uh, they basically gave you a two-in-one package this is a feature i truly appreciate from noco and again noco chargers have been around for so many years now and they have such a good reputation if you're trying to charge your battery the the best possible way and the most safe possible way this is way to, this is the way to go so the eyelets are of course built in on the negative side and the positive side as well all you need to do is unscrew these with a small allen wrench again and voila and then you can basically connect these to your uh battery okay so the charger itself is, is very small and is very straightforward to be honest i think i believe this unit weighs maybe about one pound along with the cables and the clamps about one or about one or one and a half pounds no more than one and a half pounds so the charger is very straight and here i'm going to demonstrate for you how easily you can actually charge this unit and by the way this unit does have a built-in uh desulfation mode so for corroded batteries so that will that will definitely protect your batteries and even and in another way if your battery is corroded or not and also has a built-in temperature uh sensor so if the if, it, if the temperature of the climate outside is too warm it will not overcharge your battery and if the temperature outside is too cold it will not undercharge your battery so this is another great feature which many other chargers especially the generic and aftermarket ones do not have that feature built in but the noco chargers it seems like all the noco chargers have this feature built in which is awesome so and at the least so and that's not even i'm not even getting uh, i'm not even getting into the features yet so this charger i'm going to go ahead and plug it in right now into a 12 volt battery and i'm going to explain to you what type of batteries this can charge and what these led status lights will actually mean and we'll go ahead and take it from there so the noco genius 2 um, can also charge many types of batteries including lead acid wet or flooded gel and agm batteries lithium and lithium iron phosphate as well up to 40 amp hours with the 12 volt batteries and it can also charge 6 volt batteries as well um, and it can also charge a battery as low as 1 volt or you can also use the built-in force mode to be able to charge batteries that are down to zero volts so you can basically repair and protect batteries that are completely dead all right guys so right now i'm going to go ahead and plug in the charger you want to first i'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demo how to plug in this charger properly and safely i'm going to go ahead and plug in my negative terminal to my negative battery what i have what i have here is a 12 volt 12 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate battery which is also known as a lifepo 4 battery so i'm going to go ahead and try to charge this battery which is kind of low on voltage uh, right now as we speak so i'm going to go ahead and connect the negative side to the negative side of the terminal and also the positive side to the positive side of the terminal now what you want to do is to play this safely it's recommended to charge the terminals the negative and the positive to the battery first and then go ahead and connect the power adapter into your wall so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now i'm going to go ahead and plug it into the wall and as soon as i do that we're going to go grab our charger right here and as you can see that the charger light just came on and i have plugged in this charger um, into this battery uh, just earlier today this morning and as you can see that it can actually one feature i like about this charger i mean i should say another great feature is that it actually remembers what type of battery you have and as you can see that you can charge regular 12 volt 12 volt batteries um agm batteries uh i mean of course this is 12 volt batteries this is a 12 volt agm battery and 12 volt lithium batteries including life 4 batteries as well as 6 volt 6 volt batteries and what's really nice about this is that you can it's very easy to use it's it's pretty much straightforward to be honest by you hitting the mode button it actually ch changes to the type of batteries that you want and you can see that i'm toggling between 12 volt and agm and lithium and of course it will not go to the 6 volt battery because it no it notices automatically that this is a 12 volt battery and not a 6 volt battery another great uh, safety feature and as you can see that it's got four other buttons right here letting you know that if you have reverse uh, if you have your 
uh, if you have your terminals connected and and uh, you know in reverse and reverse what they call reverse polarity, so you just go ahead and switch some the positive to the negative and negative to positive. If you have them uh, connected the wrong way, and what I like about it is that you get four LED bright status lights. As you can see, the first the first um, bottom left one is red. Now the second one is red. The third one turns to kind of like an orangish color, letting you know that this battery is almost about 70 to 75 percent charged. And then once the battery is fully charged, the fourth and biggest green light LED will illuminate, letting you know that it's uh, once it once it illuminates as a solid green light, then you will know all the other lights are off. Then you will know that your battery is fully charged and maintained. This charger is very straightforward. I think it's a great, great charger, to be honest. The reason, the main reason why I bought this charger is to charge this 12, the, this 12 volt LiFePo 4 battery as a side solar project that I'm, curr that I'm currently working on, and I also have a couple other 6 volt um, uh, seed lead acid batteries that I need to charge as well for a different project, and also for my scooter. So this is a great way. So I'm gonna go ahead and change back to lithium, and as I told you. It's uh, it automatically remembers what type of battery you have if you unplug it and then you go, you go, you go plug in the charger again uh, to the same battery is going to know exactly what type of you don't need to set the type of battery that you know one more you only need to set it and forget it and that's it and you can leave this charger plugged in all year round and it will it will charge and maintain also your battery because it's a charger and a, and a battery maintainer as well again for 6 volt and 12 volt batteries which is awesome. Because why should you have to go out and spend more money on two different chargers when you can have one charger like this that can does the job for both. Alright, so let me know what you guys think of this uh, unboxing and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried to make it as simple and as quick as possible. I will leave the description. I will leave the link in the description below for this awesome Noco Genius 2 charger, which is I think this is great. And this does charge at 2 amps. So let me know what you guys think if you have any questions. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really means a whole lot to me. And also, hopefully, give me a thumbs up if you if you enjoyed any benefits or found any benefits in this video. And if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and drop me a line below in the comment section. And I will get back to you, and I will also heart your comment as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.